and thanks for viewing today's Tuesday Tip. Today we will talk about the importance of compliance, following the HUD program guidelines, and training. The Office of Inspector General, that's OIG, that's located in the HUD office conducts audits to make sure that owners and agents are in compliance and follow the HUD program guidelines, as well as following their own policies and procedures. OIG's audit objective is to determine whether the management agent administers the project's program guidelines correctly and in accordance with the owner's contract with HUD. You also have to follow your own requirements. In order to receive a passing outcome from OIG, the owner agent needs to make sure that staff is adequately trained on the HUD programs as well as following the owner agent's own requirements. There are several ways that an owner agent can make that or make those objectives and meet those objectives. Through the industry trainings, through things like Tuesday Tips, through your in-house compliance department, you can gain a better knowledge of what type of things OIG is looking for and the things that they've uncovered if you Google HUD OIG audit. I encourage you to read the ones for 2019. OIG has recommended that directors of HUD multifamily programs require the project owners to do such things as reimburse HUD for ineligible housing assistance payments, reimburse the appropriate household or the resident for underpaid housing assistance. They also do things like support or reimburse HUD for the unsupported or undocumented housing assistance payments. You have to make sure that the person is eligible and that you're following the rules. OIG writes things like uh, conduct criminal records and background checks, update waiting list, and make sure that your waiting list is applicable and has the necessary notations on it. Uh, implement adequate policies and procedures and control addresses, um, address issues that are cited in your previous MORs. OIG even make arrests for fraudulent acts. I've noticed since I've been out in the field the last couple of months that there are companies who need to tighten up a little on uh, the things that they're doing. Things that will help you tighten up will be like a checklist for your files. If the PBCA or HUD, your traditional contract administrator, or even your in-house auditor finds issues with the um, way you're conducting business, don't take it personally. Take it as constructive criticism. Constructive criticism can only make you better if you take it the right way. The 9834 part of HUD has a section, it's section 25B, I do believe, which states, is the project staff able to adequately perform management and maintenance functions? Part C of that same part says, how do owners and agents implement changes and policies in HUD procedures? So you can see it's real important that you follow the HUD procedures. It makes a difference in your company paying back hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you will read the 2019 report that OIG has out there, you'll see that there are management companies that aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Don't look as an at an MOR as being a negative thing. I know that when I was managing, sometimes when you know that you're getting an MOR, you take a deep breath and sigh and say, oh my goodness. But look at it as a learning tool. Look at it as a teaching tool. Look at it as a tool that you can use to make your property and your property files, your program, your policies and procedures a lot better. So, owners and agents need to train their staff. Staff know that they're under trained, need to ask for additional training. As I say, there's a lot of industry training out there, and we look forward to doing our part at Navigate. 
Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to look at the OIG report. And we'll see you next Tuesday on Tuesday Tips. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.